But on the real though, this shit go to the ladies. Cause on the real, I fuck with what she did, like when she went up. So this is for you. Competition for anyone they're trying to do to that. Sweater, I'm the coldest, run the mobile like an avalanche. I might break a nail for real the way I'm thumbing through this cash. Get some tummy teeth from my toe bad because it's hella fat. Beauty and beast, where is my feast? We came by the first beat, I'm ready to eat. So dumb, I'm seen, I'm chasing my dream. What up, my blushing glams? Like I fed for me, it's your girl Blush, and I'm back with another episode of Glam Chat. So today is a very exciting day for me. Um, I'm actually gonna be performing, you guys. I have released my very first single, which is called I Found Love. It is available on most platforms, so iTunes, Apple Music, SoundCloud, um, YouTube, YouTube Music, the whole shebang. You should be able to find I Found Love by Blush the Icon. Please make sure to support your girl and stream, um, stream and download it. Um, it is a Haitian American ballad, so if you're into island music or if you're Haitian yourself, I'm sure this is a song that you will enjoy. But yes, a friend of mine has basically asked me to um, come out and perform. So every Wednesday he has this sort of, um, basically he's created a platform for new, new artists and local artists to come out and get some exposure, get some performance out. Um, I think it's a great experience for me because performing in front of a large crowd of people definitely is nerve wracking for me, but it's very much needed. Even if it's at a small level, eventually if one day my career takes me to perform in front of a large arena of people, I'm gonna need this. So even though I'm nervous as heck, I'm still excited. Um, I'm not expecting a large turnout as far as like people on my end to come out because it is a Wednesday night, plus it's COVID, so I haven't really kind of like marketed or pushed for my um, crowd of people to come out as much. So whoever is able to come out, because again, it is a Wednesday night, I understand people have work the next day, people got things going on, so I'm not gonna feel no type of way if someone doesn't come out. But nonetheless, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. I'm gonna try to see if I can capture some I'm gonna try to see if I can capture some behind the scenes things. If I don't, because again, it is a work night, so I'm sure I'm gonna be like from work to glam mode in a matter of like 30 minutes. <laughs> if I don't get a chance to capture some candid behind the scenes things, I will go ahead and um, definitely get you guys in for the performance part for sure. But let me get my day started. Um, I still have to work. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my day started and um, catch you guys a little later. Bye. All right, you guys, it is performance night. So you already know, your girl Blush the Icon is gonna be performing her latest single, I Found Love. All right, so come along for the ride. See you guys in a few minutes. She, sometimes she get a little shy, she don't wanna perform cause she don't know how the crowd gonna receive her. But tonight, we gonna show her, we here to support her and show her love. So y'all make some love for my dog, Blush the icon. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh 
easy, take it easy. And last but not least, take it easy, last but not least, if you are going with bass, make some noise, bass!
we got to get, we gonna get to this vibe, but yeah, we back at it next week, y'all. Y'all make sure y'all show y'all face. Tell a friend, bring a friend. Happy birthday to all my Virgos in the building. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. We gonna vibe. Make sure you get yourself a drink. Kitchen wide open again. Major, major shout out to the cave for providing a platform for us to do this, man. Make some noise for the cave, y'all. Make some noise for the cave. They got R&B Thursdays. They got karaoke Tuesdays. They got uh, Friday night, Saturday night. Y'all still do the brunch? Y'all still do the brunch? Yeah. And they do the brunch on Sunday, y'all. So please show love, man. And not only that, it's a black-owned establishment, y'all. Black-owned establishment. So we fuck with them. We fuck with them. All right, without any further ado, the first week champ. The first week champ. Hold this, go. Hold this. I'm going to put the belt around this individual because I think this individual, in fact, I think all of them did a motherfucking great job. Make some noise for them. Make some noise for them. But without any further ado, we're going to give it up to our first week champ. <laughs> Together in the lab one day and make a record, bro. Hey, I appreciate y'all though, for real. But on the real though, this shit go to the ladies, cause on the real, I fuck with what she did, like when she went up. So this is for you. already know by this point of the film point of the video um, a performance that I did at a local I guess um bar and grill or local club like scenery I was invited to perform there by a friend of mine uh, we actually went to high school together he is also an artist and have also done is into some other ventures he has a um, a talk, a radio talk show, which is off of um, Highly Unique, South Florida. You can download the app to catch my belief. His segment is usually on Saturday mornings between 11 and 2 p.m. His name is 305 Fresh. But again, yeah, I was invited by him to perform along with some other artists. Um, it turned out to actually be a contest, which I kind of was sort of aware of, but I didn't think he was going to still go through with it. So... I wasn't thinking about that but yeah it was pretty much a contest um it ended up being a close call but as you probably already did see in the in the, the video um it was a close call between me and two other artists or artists and one of the artists ended up winning the second time around but um you know he decided that he wanted to actually give me the belt which I thought that was very noble of him um, because he said he felt like I was actually the winner, but I think we all did very well. And either way, for me, whether I won or not, 
it was more for me the experience, the experience and the exposure. Um, as you guys may already know, you know, I kind of started on this platform as a vlogger. Um, I've done I've done other things and I've sung in the past when I was younger in high school and things like that. But I'm actually just now trying to start to take this a little bit more serious and kind of take destiny and in my own hand and life by its balls and just trying to go out there and make myself more accessible as a artist as a just have my own platform so yeah um definitely shout out to everybody who has supported me in any type of way whether it was through reposting resharing whether it was through um actually coming out and supporting because it was on a wednesday night and you know we're still in the middle of pandemic so i really didn't want to get anybody out of their comfort zone or out of their safe zone but those that actually did come out you don't know how much that means to me and it's not that those that didn't come out i'm less happy with them or anything like that like any form of support at this point in this industry in this time and age is such a blessing to me because getting support at, I talked about this at another in another video getting like genuine support from people is not that easy the people that you think that will support your loved ones is not that easy so actually getting people to even share like comment any of that to me i'm just most humble and most appreciative of that either way because either way whether i have one person supporting me or a hundred thousand if this is something that i want to do i got to keep pushing forward no matter what so that's that's just that but yeah, it was it was an experience, um, and you know, I hope to to have more experiences like that and definitely move up in the ladder. Um, husband was the main content um, person, content creator, I guess. Well, I'm a content creator. He was like the behind the scenes content, um, doing the video while we were there. Um, my cousin, she did my makeup, her shades of beauty follow her on Instagram she's also on Facebook patients um, the life coach my mom was there my sisters was there brother was there like it was just definitely a experience and I appreciate every single ounce of it all but yeah in case you guys hear a lot of noise they're doing landscaping it's landscaping day um, but yeah I think I'm probably going to close out. I just wanted to chime in because I really definitely want to try to document this journey. I don't know where it's going to go. I only hope that I can be successful in it in some way, shape, or form. But I don't know how far it's going to go. But I want to document the journey either way and take you guys along. So anything that I can kind of share with you guys um, that's not too personal in my life, but that I can share with, with this, you know, of this journey for anyone else that wants to be a a singer or an artist of some sort a vlogger you guys can see somebody who's actually documented their journey so i'll catch you guys later